Are these glide paths, glide paths of stability, and do they indicate that dividend growth is a proxy for yield forward? That, that back and forth between your world of bonds and equities is a yield alternative. Can that be possible? So I, I think it can be possible. I, I don't see it as highly probable. And the thing that I'm concerned about the most is that I do think that 2024 will be a, a very rocky year. So I know we're talking about these glide paths and soft landings. Um, we may ultimately get a, a mild slowdown or a mild recession, which would be char characterized as a soft landing. But I think it's I think it's a really dangerous landing at, at this point. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I think that we need to engage in more of a balanced portfolio approach. So have some fixed income, have some equity, have some growth, have some value. And just real quick, Jim, right. before uh, yeah. we run out of time, what do you mean by dangerous landing? So I think there's more geopolitical tensions and more geopolitical risks that are out there to start this year than last year. We have obviously, you know, China, Taiwan, we have Taiwan elections, we have a U.S. presidential election. I think that's going to create a lot of volatility. And I think the markets are, and don't forget, we have the 2025, you know, the Trump tax cuts come, come due in 2025. At some point in 2024, we're going to start to price the outcome of that in. And that can swing the markets from an earnings perspective yeah. quite a bit and from a multiple perspective. So I think let's just enjoy this calm right now because I think it's going to get a lot rockier and a lot less, un, you know, and a lot more uncertain into the future.